everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lord Kiss. how you all doing hope you are good I'm back with another tutorial which will be on how to make this structured piece on the thumbnail using us hybrid or crinoline, line which is this piece I have here so for this tutorial what do you need the materials needed a simple for the fabric you will be making use of so here I'm making use of a bridal satin but on the normal day I would have preferred not just this but you can just make use of whatever you have so here you can make use of velvet you can make use of sequins even African print fabric any fabric you have at all yes it's fine so once you get that then you will need a stay this ST is a cloth interfacing and one part is gluey one part is gluey so it is this part that will be attached to the fabric to make it stable. So this is what I have here. So looking at it, you can see it is more stable rather than having it just like that. So it comes in black and white. So any more you have at all. So after doing that, then you will need your horse hair braid. So here I have two types. Like this one is the um, three inches one. And this one is two inches then looking at it this one is soft can you see and look at this is thicker can you see the difference there's even another one thicker than this so i always prefer to use the thicker one because it will give you more structure rather than this soft one but any one you have at all is fine so you can double it or triple it that's fine so having done that, then you will need your paper tape. You'll see what we'll be using it for. Then you'll need your needle and thread. When we get to that point, you know what we will use it for. So the next thing now is to determine the length of the structure. So on the average, 10 inches to 12 is just fine because it's going to be on fold this way. This is how it's going to be. So the length of 10 inches to 12 is fine then you had extra half an inch for similar ones at both hand so here 10 on fold that's going to give you 20 inches so here i have 21 it's actually 20 the half an inch at both and then i need three so you can make it either just two three four depending on what you want it depends on your preference then for the width now it depends on the us every you are making use of the one i'm making use of here is two inches can you see exactly two inches so the fabric here now is going to be on fold so that's four two plus two that is four inches then you will need half an inch seam allowance on both sides to sew it down and then bring it on the right side so that is one so one plus four will give you five but here I have five and half. Can you see I have five and half? The reason for the extra half is because I want to have quarter inch on both sides. His because this is exactly two inches. So I still want to have little space like quarter inch here, quarter inch here, just to make the us hybrid move freely in the fabric so that's the essence for the five and a half so here now i have 21 inches by five and a half for the three panels i have here and now i will have to go to the sewing machine fold it this way can you see and then sew in the half an inch i left for the same allowance for the three piece so this is what i have this is it i'm sewing in the half an inch so the next thing you are going to do is to trim off quarter of an inch and you can see that i've trimmed that off and the next thing will be to use your loop to bring out the fabric on the right side. So in case you want a different style that you want one of the hands closed, that means you have to close up the side about just cut out an inch. So I'll just bring it out. Take your time. And that's the work of the loop. In case you want to get the loop, we have it available. And also, if you want your sewing tools, you can use the contact number in the description box below to get in touch with us. So this is what you are going to have. Just that's this. And for this very one, I have given it a good press. So this is what it looks like, looking beautiful already. So the next thing now would be to fix in the us hybrid. So 
if you are using the soft one, I will just advise you to double it. So what you have to do is to measure. For instance, you have to leave three quarter inch at both hand. You don't want it to really get to the end. So you want something from here to here. So this is what you want to have. But in case you are making use of this soft one, you just double it. You make two of this. Even this, I can double it too. But for those that only have the soft one, so let's say this is the length you want to work with. So all you have to do, you can use your needle and thread so that it stays in place. So, so let me... Good. Can you see the way I use the needle and thread? Just tack it down. So it won't be moving around. So that's the essence of that. Let me see. It's secured. Then you tie a knot. And this is a tutorial. Then how do we secure the end of this horse hair braid? So it is the same method. You are using one piece of this. So needle and, and thread has secured this. You get your paper tape. So if you can see the way I'm doing that. First thing I will do is this part, cover it up this way, and fold this down, the very one down. Can you see I've properly secured the hand? So for this very one too, if you are doubling it or tripping it, so you just cover it up this way and it is being secured. So I'm going to do the same thing for this other side. You can also make use of the fabric to so just sew it on it, but I didn't think that's too... It's a long thing. So this is what I have. So you can double it however you want. The next thing will be to push it in. So you just fold it this way. Just go in gently. Then another method you can make use of the loop itself. That's very easy. So just bring it in. Make sure the end is there. So you can see, use the end of the loop. Make sure it's hooking the horse head braid. And you can just pull it gently while adjusting with your hand. You can see that. So you can see his house at this part. So you just have to do that. So remember, we have three quarter of an inch on both sides that is not touching. So you can give it a good press again. So can you see how it stays? Can you see? So, but if you double it, the strength will be more than this very one. Yeah, you can also use your regular boning for this. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on that so you can see. So what I will do now is to double this horse air braid and use that for this other one. And then we are going to see how the stability is. Right now I have doubled this so you can see the thread in it. So I use the needle and thread to tack it down. Then I use the paper tape to secure it. So looking at it, it is even more stable. So what I will do is to place it inside.
this is it i'm going to give it a good press so looking at it this is even more stable than this very one so you can see this is the one i have two the doubled one and this is the single one and the good thing i like about the horse hybrid is that you can always twist it to have a nice design that's the good thing about it so i made a tutorial last week on how to make use of boning so you can use that method also for this so at least you have two options either the horse hybrid or the uh, bones so i'm going to do this one too i'll double it and then we can see how it looks finally so guys i'm through and i'm so happy with it so for this last one i did i tripled it yes i made it of three so looking at it you can see it is more stable you can see it is more stable this is the three i tripled this because the last one outfit i made for a client i had i did three so this is three. You can see it's more stable, standing. And the good thing is that it's flexible and light. That's why I like the horse hybrid. But when you make use of boning, it's more stronger. So it depends on your preference. I'll put my large video, video link in the description box below. So this is the one I made use of two. So this is two, this is two, this is three. You can see that. And then this very one is just one. You can see it's not as strong. Let me see that. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. So now you can use it to make any design. So this triple one will be the one that will be standing. And this very one could be used to make any type of design at all. So you could do something like this. As you can see that this also could come this way. However you want to do that. So this could just come inside this. Can you see however you want to do it? Then you just tack it down so you can use your sewing machine first before you tack it on your outfit because your outfit must have been ready before tacking this down so i'm just going to put it on the mannequin for you to see how it looks guys this is the final look of the structured pieces you can see how beautiful it came out so just be creative about how you twist it tack it down to your outfit because by now your outfit has to be ready so just tack it stylishly however you want it and then you embellish it you are good to go so if this tutorial has been helpful please give me a giant thumbs up don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram blicky signatures and on facebook sewing innovations for physical classes and online classes use the contact number in the description box below bye guys